Welcome to Sly Cooper, everyone. My fucking camera. Oh my god, I'm charger. Hold on. You were saying? Yeah, I guess. Okay, hold on. Um, guys, if any rude comments, if I find them, if I ever find them, you will be blocked and you will be immediately banned from my channel. Yeah, I am gonna. That's gonna be the first one. When the fuck is Carmelita gonna show? Shut the fuck up. What the fuck, Bentley? Is the battery complete? Yes, it just needs to be charged. Seems like that might be a problem in these parts. Well, if we take it the veil, it's out of town. Carmelita. Shut up. Sorry, Carmelita. Hey, you know what? Go. Oh, we're calling him. Oh, I'm with her. What the fuck is she? Hey, shut the fuck up, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fuck you too. Apparently, I have to play as her right now and capture Sly. Seriously, I have to use a shock pistol? Looks like a fucking bazooka. <laughs> Not really. You hold that shit and, like, you have to hold it. It's like Optimus Prime's, um, you know, jetpack from. Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. Fuck. <sighs> Why am I even getting like, you think that you captured Cooper, you bitch. Yeah. Fucking phone turn off. Fucking run! Shut the fuck up. This is like me running from my stalker. Oh shit. Okay, I'm like, wait a minute. Oh fuck! Little bitch on my tail. Shit. If I had wings, I'd fly like a like an angel. And of course, I would just fly like crazy. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, I went to bed at six la um, last night, six in the morning. Well, every night I stay up at different not times. Mondays at three. What's the point of going to bed at a regular time when you don't have class for fuck motherfucking two weeks? Yeah, my mom's really pissed because um, she's waiting for a goddamn email. Princess. Hmm. Well, yeah, because apparently with this whole virus spreading around. There's like nowhere you can go, and all my neighbors can't even walk their fucking dogs. Really? Cause uh, you just heard my cousin's dog while I was in the bathroom. Yeah, I have a dog, but he's afraid to even be on camera. Hercules? That's like muscles and Hercules. What the fuck just happened to him? Oh shit, they're gonna kill him. You know, this is when I thought Penelope was really cool, but then, you know, by like the fourth game, she was nothing but an asshole. Backstabber. And not only that, uh, she probably known that she probably, and she manipulated him. Not to mention, if we ever had a group, and it was you, me, Galaxy, and then we had some a-hole, you know, and you want to fucking redeem yourself, we'd have to decide that, and we all know what our answer is. No. Yeah, Jade and Galaxy. And you. And Galaxy and you, basically, you're my recurrent, well, you're my main guest star, but Galaxy comes in once in a while. Hey, I mean, if she can't come, she can't come, but I mean, you know, that whole Would You Rather episode was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, you talked to her on Facebook, right? Well, I don't have Facebook anymore, but my mom says I should just make a new one. Well, not only that, and I have to get away from my uncle, because I have to make my Facebook private. Yeah, I know you're not big on that, but, you know. I actually do it because, you know, YouTubers, they do shit like this, you know. 
you can make this point up to me about you don't, you just don't tend on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Do you do that here? I call it Operation Wedding Crasher. This will be a multi-prog job with two groups working simultaneously. I'm sure I don't need to stress the importance of the schedule to anyone. First, Sly, Penelope, and Murray will make their way past all the security in Sal's treasure tumble. And then, drop the goods off to me for loading into the van. Meanwhile, the Panda King and Guru will tunnel beneath the palace. Create an escape route for Tin King. Sly, you'll have to pull double duty to take care of any topside security designed to detect subterranean assaults. Once you guys are done, I'll use my grapple cam to lure Inspector Fox into the palace, where we'll try to get her to take Jin King's place. Well, Jin King is the only Meanish Five to be a parent. Well, apparently there's a relative, or if it's you know, there's another relative in Jin, um, Jin, um, in Panda King's family other than just the daughter. It's an unnamed relative, but it's a female though, and if I don't know if it's a sister. Then, then, then after the after you defeat the general, then. It's either a sister or a sister-in-law. However, that's unknown. That's not a good question. I'm about to take a look about the Panda King backstory. And I'll let you know when I found something. Yeah, because it says on the Sly Cooper wiki, it's either a sister or a sister-in-law. They don't know who it is. Yeah, I did take a look about Sly Cooper wiki. Two years ago. I'm in green light position. Let's get a roll call. Ready. In position. On pop. I got a die. I too stand ready. Even if we fail, it will have been an honorable effort. King King is not forgotten. All right, everyone. Let's go. Well, I mean, this is, I mean, I would not give it up, but it doesn't mean, you know, forced marriage is just so stupid. Um, well, Mommy never get married in the future. Even if Mari ever has to think about that. Please, Jokey. You guys gonna be okay in here? Security's tight. Yeah, we're fine. We need to get married. Well, I didn't mean Jokey. Like, not really. I mean, like, this hit me. Always a slave to the schedule. That's me. If you catch me, Jay. Yeah, I catch you. <laughs> it's like if you catch my drift. Avoid the blue sensors. One wrong move and I'm fish food. Well, I can't believe I'm saying this though. Well, I mean, this goes to anybody. Um, I know, um, I know this is crazy, but I have a. I don't know if you guys know that this is for my fans that have like any medical conditions like epilepsy or if you have diabetes. Um. This kind of have to come to show that when last year I almost lost my mother to type 2 diabetes and um, this is especially for some people that when you make diabetic jokes and there's like somebody in the person's family or if you're doing it to them, making diabetic jokes or anything like that is not funny. Not to joke like that or not funny. 
for me. Yeah, and apparently, I mean, I lost my own, I almost lost my own mother to that, but I'm happy she's still alive. And this is like, I'll say it right now, you can die from diabetes. And to those people who are like, making jokes like that, it's not funny. So I would cut your bullshit and drop it. Yeah, and I'm not being mean to any of you guys, but you know, I understand it. But this is to my fans that are diabetics. Um, I understand what you go through, and that you're not alone. And I get it, and I know because my mom has it, and my great grandmother has it, and. My grandfather on her on my mom's side. This runs so much in my mom's side. I understand it, and it's very hard. Yeah. Yeah, because apparently my mother was born with this, and I get it, and it's hard. Nightfall, do you know a movie called 21 Jump Street? I know that movie. Oh, that's funny. It is. It is funny. How about 22 Jump Street? That's funny. Even too. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. I sound like, 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 like Jason Bourne or something. Yeah. Dude, that film is funny as hell. And I always like tweet out. Yeah, um, I gotta find out to make that video, like, when I might be. I don't know when I'm resuming horror stories, though, but... Got it. Even I can't even do that in the pool because, like, the, oh no, you can't even do belly flops, that stuff hurts. Always a slave to the schedule, that's me. Okay, there's my destination, that blue checkpoint. Might as well do it with hey, <laughs> We're on the first floor. Oh, you're gonna have to fire him, you're gonna have to fire me too. Okay. Shit. 
back off my tacos, human. Okay, guys. I'm here to talk Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, you gotta admit, though, the guru, he could have made, like, you know, I guess. Maybe she died? <sighs> yeah, I don't know, but. If, in, if anybody makes a video about that, please tell me, because I've always wanted to see one like that. Hey, you know, then you, you're a human, it's like, cool, how are we get, we should make a victory to get up all of the countdown. Yeah, well, I'd rather do, like, video game order, so apparently... Fiend is five? Just a few inches from Jing King. Get that, Bentley? You're up. Oh, fuck. Oh, my cousin. She had to use that for her wedding. She had to... Well, my cousin wasn't forced into marriage, though, but, you know, she was getting married to, you know, the right man who she's married to today. I left her a calling card, and I'm sure she'll see you come inside. Then it's time for a little subterfuge. Yeah, um... Keep your position on the still platform. You're on point. Two years ago, my cousin got married, and they had to use a bridal chamber, so... Well, you know, it was just so that she could get ready for the di for in her there, without anybody walking in on her. Uh, nothing worth that damage. Well, you know what? She's already got to deal with the baby, so... And plus, she makes... I hear a lot of stuff. I hear a lot of stuff like that saying, if you get a girl pregnant, it means marriage shit. Yeah, don't put that on my channel. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. We try to keep it here. I'm professional on the uh, Uma Pirate Girl Uma channel. <laughs> okay, fuck me. I sound stupid right now. Well, yeah, I didn't do that stupid in high school. Yeah, pretty much high school is full of a bunch of crazy people. Like, basically, I mean, in high school, like, when I was in high school, there was, like, the TikToks. Yes, I have one, but I wasn't, like, big on TikTok, and I didn't know what it was back then, until my sister started using it. And I was just like, uh... So apparently, I didn't know back then what was addictive, and now today, people make their livings on it by using dance moves. I mean, I mean, I have TikTok, but I don't even use it that much. I mean, I only make stupid Ed and Nettie memes. Right. Yeah, like this one. Now what we have to do is, what happened to the stairs? That's disturbing. That's the only one that I have on my TikTok. But I did do a Hey Dad, I just had some Mountain Dew. You got, you got, you forgot one day at work. Yes, mommy. <laughs> you bitch. And, and this one too. Oh, you know, tell, tell my brother how good I am. Uh, I forget. Run away! <laughs> Calling card. Yeah, because you're just a bitch, Carmelita. Would you like 
for a lot. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, I know. I'm just teasing you. Ceremony? Yeah, make sure the whole gang's there. Okay, uh, I'm headed to the rendezvous now. Over and out. Oh, God. Who is this little bride who's so interested in animals? Well, he's not the only one who can play the disguise game. I'll give him an ego and a shotgun wedding they'll never forget. That's kind of a forced marriage thing. I hate forced marriage. What kind of moral is when it's a, a female or a male is a marriage? It's basically I females. To my meditation and on the very eve of my wedding. Do not worry, my bride. I will not let anything prevent our love from blossoming. Not even your misguided attempt to escape. You can't rip- Ah, yeah. oh, well. Ugh, oh, fuck. I can't even do it. meditation will be more focused amid the splendor of my treasure temple. Well, at least my cousin didn't have to go through it. And apparently she found somebody who loved her, and which was great. Yeah, and my cousin watching this, good for you. Because you actually found somebody, which is great. So, uh, yeah, to those two exes that did that to her, go fuck yourselves. Took yep, she oh, took the bait. the bait. Where are you guys at with Jane Kane? We're in the van, waiting for the treasure as we say. Hey, Marie, Sal's on his way to your position. How'd you come up with the treasure? Looks like Sal's back at it again. Stupid chicken that doesn't even know how to take fucking rejection clearly. A fucking oh my god! That looks like the thing you do, that the people do Chinese New Year. The Fuck, Murray. No! Let's go with me! Ha <laughs> ha! The Sal line is master in this place. Hear me, Sly Koopa! My lineage of past is yours in every way! It's not about the family name, pal. It's what you do with it. Fighting a dragon, how nice. Because that's actually my spirit animal. I hate dragons. Well, that's my spirit animal, though. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't 
Yeah, they're a mythical creature slash legend. <laughs> Gotta ask you something, Nightfall. Do you know the movie Shrek? Yeah. Remember the dragon from the films? Yeah, let me guess. Don't keep going over the dragon in the movie, and the second one, they have kids, and dragons, and donkeys, and then. Drunkies. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know. How the fuck do you know the. I have no fucking idea. That. Uh, I don't know, but I would never, ever have a kid. Yeah. Yeah, look at some parents. They either go to fucking jail or just die. Yeah, well, I wanna... Hold on. Sometimes parents don't even have a good role in life, and they just end up being a bunch of idiots. Ah, oh, damn it, Penelope. I still win, Cooper. You might have stolen my treasure and thwarted my dragon, but I still have the bride. Jin King is mine. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't have Jin King anymore, stupid. Fuck up. Owned. Apparently Panda King's in the group, and that Jin King is with an aunt. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back to calling. He got ahead and booked a whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. 
So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper box. That Bentley, always thinking. That's funny, because my godfather, when he died, he said there was a vault. When my godfather died, I remember reading in that letter that there was a vault that hadn't been opened. It's fine, though, but when he said about a vault, he left the location precisely. This is, like, big as, like, the Cooper vault, but it's bigger, though, but... Yeah, but my godfather became the second cop in our family. Plus, my uncle just became the stupid outcast he is today. Got no respect for women. You can't. Yeah, like my mom had to put up with that asshole. I feel bad for her. Yeah, and my grandmother, because one year we were in um, Minnesota, like we always go down there every December, and one year she um, gets a text message from my uncle and it says, Merry Christmas, stay out of my life. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers. You kidding me? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Hmm. Plus, he wrote to me on uh, Christmas Eve, well, all into Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, go KYS. You know, you should. If you're not done i come to talk to Treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I... Well, my cousin... Well, I actually have the text message to still, so I just need to take a screenshot, show it to the police, and then he's out of a job. Soon enough, those kids are gone, too. Well, my mom said if he doesn't cut the bullshit, he's gonna get his Xbox taken away. Yeah, my mom's actually ready to kill his ass tomorrow. Salt of the earth, that bag spot, dude. It's clear to get anywhere with the old goose. We'll need to fool him into thinking that the orca taker is him. What happened to Tim anyway? And the dog. Plus, the sad part is we can't walk our pets out. That's the thing. Because of fleas. And most of all, if your pet has a dark fur, it's going to be very hard to spot fleas. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Yeah, he's not getting a walk, and my mom said no. We have to give him a bath. Well, my boyfriend said since you like cats, just get a cat. Yeah, you just need to. Well, the thing is, it's the fat though. You have to get them. You either have to get them fixed because it prevents babies and the other, like the male cat, from going out and mating. Yeah, he said, um, you have to get it fixed. If you, if it, you didn't get it fixed, and you got it like that, um, yeah, you have to get it fixed. You have to get it food. Well, mostly cats are in favor of wet food. Wet or dry food, whatever their preferred cup of tea is. Uh, water, um, cat toys, and of course, entertainment, or else they're gonna go scratching your fucking bed. 
Oh, and um, you cannot get cats to claw. Oh, there's the second lieutenant. You can't get cats to claw because it's a New York State law now. Because if a cat gets into a fight and they don't have any self defense. Nope, you can't even get one animal. No, you can't get them to claw cats because that's their main line of defense. Yeah. I mean, it's not just that I asked for, but, you know, I mean, I sound like this stupid girl, but, you know, to be honest, though, it's not just because I call you a lot, it's just that I don't have anybody to talk to. Plus, most of my friends... Yeah, she gets busy a lot with her job. Motherfucker. So somebody posted a comment on my date night horror stories and apparently I was really happy. It was a nice little comment. And I appreciate positive comments and he said, Oh, keep up the great work on my content. And apparently he only had one subscriber, so I subscribed to him back so that you know I'm gonna admit that's pretty cool. Hopefully, I can get it done this week. But um, Thursday you can call me at seven next week, cause you know. Yeah, turns out I don't have lessons. Stupid virus. Yeah, and if not, I'll just have to give you a nice little calling reminder. Shut up. Go fuck yourself. Says, says to the woman who wants this car to be a goddamn Tesla. You're supposed to say I have standards. No, really, that's how it goes. Yeah, and your standards can go fuck themselves. Avast there. You got me with me back to the scene. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Any hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. <laughs> Looks like I got all the shit needed. Excellent. You've got the full cantankerous Tim disguise. <sighs>
you take the first broadside shipmate. You're a brainless, clam tongued sack of maggots. That be true enough, but you're a mumbling, yellow bellied anchor head. Oh, God. You are a bleeding, scurvy ridden waste of skin. <laughs> but methinks you're a parrot loving barnacle bat piece of food. Mm, can't really say anything that he says. Hey, Jack, you want good news or bad? You want good news or bad news? You're an idiotic. Give me the bad news first. Give me the weird news. Yeah. Well, it turned out that we don't have any other. Yeah. Donkey ass knuckle dragon. Well, fight. Let me try.